we've been looking for this family for four days now. So this is Mama Sita and her six cubs. The guides call her Mama Sita because she almost always has litters of six. And the most extraordinary thing about her is that she manages to raise almost all those cubs to adulthood. This is really, really tricky because cheetahs have a notoriously high mortality rate for their cubs. It's only 5% of cheetah cubs that make it to adulthood, which is a really low number. Not only is Mama Sita what we call a super mum, because she does manage to raise so many of her cubs to adulthood, but the most interesting thing about this litter is that she's actually adopted the cub of another female. Um, so this cub just appeared when the others were about three months old and she's taken it upon herself to look after this cub and, you know, feed it and make it part of the family. It's, it's pretty unusual amongst all other big cats to adopt a cub, um, mainly because there's not really any benefits to them. But scientists think that maybe it's to do with the fact that cheetahs are not territorial um, and they're, they're not competing with each other in the way that lion prides do. So that could be one of the reasons, but it's amazing. And whatever the reason is, she's definitely saved this cheetah cub's life because it would have had no chance otherwise. So, Manja, where do you think that cub would have appeared from? Um, I think the lions or the other predator like uh, um, hyena or lions spoke their family and uh, this baby appeared to be alone. And later just I come across the family and join uh, the family. And then Mama Sita accepted it as a family. And then they just uh, live together happily. So Madge has just told me that when cheetah cubs get to about eight months of age, they're fast enough to be able to run away from other predators. And also they've learned some really critical skills for hunting. Now these cubs are probably around 10 months, they're getting to 11 months now. So the chances of them actually reaching adulthood are now really high. And their mum is so successful at hunting, you know, she has to hunt two or three times a day to feed all those mouths. So they really have learnt from the best and I'm sure that there's going to be quite a few more cheetah sightings in this area.